Good morning, YouTube. I have a quick announcement reminder for you. If you haven't already heard, going on on Twitch right now is the support a streamer program. If you give three subs to any select streamer that is in the program, I am one of those streamers, twitch.tv slash futz, you will get the Combat Medic Brig. I actually learned today that there's some special voice lines that are uh, StarCraft inspired for the skin, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, I hope to see you guys over there. If you want to get the skin, hopefully I'll see you. If not, hopefully I'll still see you anyways. Enjoy the video. If you've never seen Roll for Sandwich, I encourage you to just sit here and watch for a little bit. You're going to all of a sudden be begging me for more. Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. After my editing problems yesterday, I'm going back to the Lucky Ducks. Let's roll for bread. One tortilla. All right, one flour tortilla, slightly warmed on the stovetop. Let's keep going. Next up, roll for main. Eight, chicken. Today for chicken, I have a buffalo style chicken. So the cayenne is coming again. out to play. He's in for the two for two months. Next up, roll for cheese. Not too bad so far. Five, Havarti. Mild and creamy to offset the slight spice Party's of the chicken. Good. So far, so good. Not a bad start. All right, 2d12 roughage. Here we go. Two, cucumber and four, green pepper. Use our mandolin here to slice up some cucumbers nice and thin and get a layer put down here. Not adding a whole ton flavor-wise, but it'll give us a nice cool crunch. It's okay. And then moving on to the green peppers, which I already had sliced up. I feel like these occupy a similar flavor zone to the cucumbers. If I were making this by choice, I would have picked a different vegetable. All right, our first chance at real chaos. Here's the wild magic roll. 16, scrambled egg. <laughs> apparently the dice gods didn't think I had enough protein. Wait, when did he have All that? Right, two eggs scrambled, added to our wrap. Here we go. Man, that's bigger than I thought. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to close it. What? All right, D20 sauce roll. Here we go. Uh oh. 17, yum yum sauce. All right, well, yum yum sauce is not the worst thing. What is yum yum sauce, Chad? Have you ever had that? Could have rolled. We'll see if it does what it needs to do here. And, yep, as previously mentioned, this is too big to roll up the way that I want to, so we're just going to hold it closed with our toothpicks here. And let's get it cut. And let's take a look at that cross-section. Not bad. Not bad. All Might right. A little dry. Not sure how this one's going to be. We're just going to dive right in. All right, okay. This is, this is okay. The sauce honestly doesn't come through that much. And the egg, cucumber, and green pepper all together kind of wash away the buffalo chicken flavor as well. I think this really would have benefited from a more flavorful vegetable like onions or pickles or jalapenos, or just a sauce with a little bit more going on than the yum yum sauce. As is, it's just kind of bland, unfortunately. I think I'm going to have to go with a 5.9 on this one. I think the egg really yeah. threw off the balance. Without the egg, it probably would have been a lot higher. Yeah, it looked dry. Well, that's it for today's <laughs> sandwich. And don't worry, I'm still thinking about a name for sandwich number 42. I'll get back to you guys. Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beer. All right, next. And welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today, I'm going with these iridescent metal rainbow dice that were sent in by a viewer. All right, first up, roll for bread. One, tortilla. Tortilla again, eh? Okay. Warmed on the stove and ready to go. All right. Up next, roll for main. 10, oops, all veggies. We'll address that in a minute. All right, then roll for cheese. Three, horseradish cheddar. All right, not mad about that. This is a pretty tasty cheese and I'm not glad to have a cheese with a little bit more going on since we don't have any meat. Since we hit oops, all veggies, we're adding one more dice to the roughage roll. Let's see, we've got three red onion, five tomato, and six pickles. Throw the red onion in the mando and get it chopped up a uh -oh. little bit here. And we'll lay it out a little heavy because we're only doing veggies this time. Uh oh. Same with the pickles. Let's get them on there. I don't uh -oh. mind having a meatless wrap, but I'm glad that I got some more flavorful vegetables this time, unlike yesterday. Let's get our tomato sliced. Love tomatoes on a sandwich or a wrap, so this is great. This wrap is shaping up okay so far, and it's pretty colorful. Hopefully, we don't ruin it. Roll wild magic. Seven, white pepper. White pepper comes from the same plant as black pepper, but the peppercorns are picked at a different stage of ripeness. This results in an earthier flavor and a uniform heat. White pepper is commonly used in a lot of Asian cooking. All right, here we go, D20 sauce roll. Grogu, don't let me down. 16, Wickles spicy red. 
All right, well, the main ingredients in this sandwich this? spread are jalapenos and pickles. So it seems flavor-wise, we're kind of staying in the same ballpark and adding a little bit of spice. All right, I'll do my best here to get this rolled up. These videos take a little bit to record, which means the tortilla ends up not warm anymore, unfortunately. Get our toothpicks in here to hold it together. Pickled salsa. And let's get it cut. I think my favorite part of watching these is I always learn about new foods I've never seen before and now I discover let's them. Take a look at that cross section. All right. All right. Well, here we go with our uh, meatless Wednesday. Let's give it a try. Yeah, no problems here. Uh, this is basically a pickle sandwich. <laughs> the flavors all work together and it's nice to have that horseradish cheddar in there to give it a little bit something extra. It's not half bad, Thanks. but it does seem Would just a little incomplete. One of these well, there you go, another one on down. It was a okay, I understand people always ask, like, what are you gonna do in chat? You think I'm gonna go out to the store, buy like seven different things of deli meat, seven different things of cheese, like tw 10 different things of le uh, veggies, 20 sauces, and another 20 like random ones. Chat, I live by myself. What, am I gonna get two slices of each? Come on, man. As much as I'd love to, it's not gonna happen. It was a little drippy, but it tasted fine. Meat wasn't necessary, but maybe something to add a little complexity Thanks. would have been nice. 7.8 as is though. All right, well that's it. Roll first, then buy the stuff. That would be very awkward, though, as a live Thanks experience. For the week. Taking a few awkward. days off, but I'll see you soon. Good afternoon, D&D. Okay. Next. Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate... Oh, yeah, see, he said, I had a little vacation run back. See, I told you I was waiting to have, let these build up a little bit, and they haven't even built up that much yet. Decide my lunch. Let's go. First up, roll for bread. Three, sourdough. All right, Ooh. sourdough it is. We'll use up the last of this loaf here, including the heel. Man, I am starving. Wait, I wait, chat. Hold on. I have a question. What do you call the end piece of bread? The crust, trash, the butt, heel, death. Yeah, I was going to say, I always call it the butt. I was always, when I was a kid, I was I like, my mom would always call it the butt. Like my mom liked to, um, when I was a kid, she used to like to get like this multigrain bread at the store and it was like fresh at the bakery. And then they'd run it through the, the bread cutter and Depending on how they held it, the end piece would either be very, very small or like decently sized. When it was decently sized, you put it in the toaster oven. It, it like was basically like a, like almost like a like a bit of a cracker. It was so good, and we used to fight over it, and we would call it the butt. Here, including the heel. Man, I am starving. I feel like I haven't eaten in like a week. I'm gonna need something extra. Let's do two mains today. Seven tofurkey and eight roast beef. I can't say that I really prefer this tofurkey over just plain tofu, but this is the only variety I've tried. In this case though, it'll be completely eclipsed by the roast beef. It's an odd combo, but such are the whims of fate. Next up, roll for cheese. Seven tofurkey and eight ro tofurkey? Oh, hell roast beef. Oh, no. I can't say that I really oh, prefer uh, this tofurkey. Uh, 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 no, do that. That is like I went in my in the in my kid's playroom and I picked up his fucking little jar of Play-Doh and fucking squished it out into a sandwich you know, fucking meat tofu. and put it on. But this is the only variety I've tried. In this case, though, it'll be completely eclipsed by the roast beef. It's an odd combo, but such are the whims of fate. Hello. Next up, roll for cheese. Two, Baby Swiss. All right, cool. Nothing wrong with Baby Swiss, but man, I was okay. really hoping for fresh mozzarella. It's been Thanks. on there for like weeks. Imagine going to the store and asking the employee if they have turkey. Five, tomato and 11, fresh basil. When I say fresh basil, I mean fresh basil. Like Yo. straight from our little deck top garden. Got it rinsed lit. off real quick and I'm gonna get it on the sandwich lit. here. I don't like basil really that much, but that's lit. Fresh mozzarella. And slice up our tomato. And get that laid out here as well. Hit him with. I think this guy does great stuff, but I really, when I, if I was making a sandwich, I would stop that laid out here, right here, one solid piece on each side. The middle one always well. freaks me out because I never do that. Do you guys do that? Do you guys like stack it up like in the middle? Because I want the whole sandwich to be consistent, you know. Hit him with the chaos. Wild magic roll. 14, cinnamon. 
Last time I got cinnamon, it was with pineapple. Oh, no. Maybe it'll be oh. similar with the tomato. Oh, no. And here we go with the D20 sauce roll. Six, fruit jelly or jam. And all right, well, what I have is a little I bit of fire. strawberry jam. It'll be interesting to see how this all comes together. Uh -oh. I'm thinking it'll be okay, but I guess we'll just have to wait and uh -oh. see. Oh, boy. Let's get our toothpicks in here to hold it together. <laughs> And let's get it cut. Yo, wait a minute, bro. Wait a minute. What is... Bro, what are you doing? No! What? Am I crazy? No. Oh, actually, uh, I mean, I guess I am a little bit... I, I, like, I feel like it's going to go from corner to corner, or it's going to go across. No? No, like, I feel... You know, like, it's like it's like a... It's a corner, but it's in all the right, middle, let's take you a know? let that cross-section. Not bad at all. It doesn't look that bad, but... I tell you what, it's not a bad-looking sandwich. Hopefully it tastes as good as it looks. Let's find out. It does actually look good, though. Like, it looks like a presentable sandwich. Okay. Yeah. This is pretty good. There's a really interesting interplay going on between the jam and the fresh basil and the cinnamon. It's kind of giving me a summer salad vibe. Yeah, not bad. It's a different, fresh take on a roast beef sandwich. Everything works pretty well together. Though it may not be the next hit sandwich craze, this one wasn't a bad lunch. I'm going to put it comfortably at an 8.1. Well, Higher that's than it I for today. It I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Good I thought That is actually higher than I thought it would be. Good afternoon, D&D, &D, TikTok, and beyond. I think this might be the last one. There might be one more after this, but this might be the last one. And welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. First up, let's roll for bread. Six, spinach wrap. Lean green tortilla machine. Let's go. Roll for main. Ten, oops, all veggies. We'll get back to that, but first oh, let's man. roll for cheese. That's tough. Three, Munster. Let's Another day without goated. fresh mozzarella. Yo, I like Munster. Listen, but... I, a lot of people don't know about Munster. Munster goaded. Man, one of these days we got to get it. We rolled oops, all veggies for main, so we're going to add two extra D12s to our roughage roll. Ooh! That's one lettuce, two cucumber, six pickle, and seven carrot. The lettuce today comes fresh from our fuck, deck top dude? garden. We'll bring it inside and get it rinsed off and add it onto our wrap. Gonna hit it with the pickles next. These are dill slices. Then over to the mando to slice up some carrots. This is gonna be one crunchy boy when it's all said and done. Back to the mando for the cukes, or as I like to call them, proto pickles. Get them on here nice and purdy. <laughs> all right, next up, we got the wild magic roll. Holy shit. Four pickled eggs. All right, well, the dice decided I what? needed some protein after all. I love how even so, with the hard-boiled egg, we're still very much in salad territory what here. What the fuck is a pickled well, egg? Well, Earl's laid up from a little tumble he took, so I guess I'll have to take a page out of my parenting book today and impotently threaten the dice with a timeout. D20 sauce roll, here we go. 16, Wickles Spicy Red. The best way that I can think to describe the flavor of this spread, if you've never had it, is pickled salsa it's pretty tasty yo this wrap ended up like really my similar mind. to the last wrap we had not but a few episodes ago i'll do my best to get it rolled up here without losing anything i feel like these spinach tortillas are a little bit more brittle than regular tortillas get our little sword toothpicks in here to hold it together and let's get it cut and let's take a look at that cross section not bad all right well looks good and lots of color there as a that is let's a give salad it a sandwich yeah, I had no doubts that this was going to be good. I mean, it's so incredibly similar to the last wrap we had, even down to the exact same sauce. With the carrots and the cucumbers, it's very, very crunchy, but that's a good thing. The pickled egg is a nice touch and a little bit different. This is a very vinegar-heavy sandwich. Luckily, I like that. I think I gave the last wrap a 7.8, and I think that the differences between this one and the last one are enough to bump it up to an 8. I'll take it. Another one in the books. All right, have a good day. Higher than I thought. All right, now this is the last one, I believe. Back and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today I'll be using these butterfly glitter dice that were sent in by a viewer. First up, roll for bread. Six, spinach wrap. Spinach wrap, Again? second day in a row, and dude, this dude gets third nothing wrap but wraps in the last four videos. Week. Next up, roll for main. Nine, hero meat. I don't have one of those big fancy spools, but I do have a Trader Joe's nearby. These gyro slices are a mixture of lamb and beef and a bunch of spices and herbs. Wait, 
What what does he roll technically? Next up, roll for main. Nine, hero meat. I don't have one of those big Wait, Euro? Is that how you say that? Uh-oh. How do I say it? I'm not telling you now. I'm not saying a fucking word. I'm I'm sure there's some people that have been here for a long time that are probably very angry with me right now. Because they've definitely heard me say it out loud. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> no, big no. fancy spools, but I do have a Trader Joe's nearby. These gyro slices are a mixture of lamb and beef and a bunch of spices and herbs. I love me a good gyro, so we're off to a pretty good start. Next up, let's roll for cheese. Four, Colby Jack. Colby Jack is fine. It's fine. It's Which not fresh great. mozzarella, but it's fine. Next up, 2d12 roughage. Six pickles and 12 roll twice. Ooh. All right, and that 12 gives us a two cucumber and three red onion. This is the way Armando cuts the red onion. Well, onion's gonna be right at home with the gyro meat. I mean, most gyros I've ever eaten have had gyro. onion and tomato on gyro. them. Gyro. And the tzatziki sauce that is usually on a gyro is a yogurt sauce with cucumber. Uh, in it. The pickle's the only thing that's even a little bit strange, but I think the flavor will work well. Next up, let's roll that wild magic. Gyro. Five, it's Fire. bacon! Is it really possible for bacon to ruin anything? I don't know. Uh, Warfare I don't really think so. Now, it's very Fire. possible for many of these sauces. What the sauce fuck? Two Did, we just up? Bay today. ...is to ruin everything. But here we go. D20 sauce roll. Uh oh Three, banana pepper mustard. This was a new one for me. Someone sent it to my P.O. box. Ooh. I like banana peppers. I gave it a taste and it's pretty good. Sweet and tangy, not very spicy. I think it'll pair well here. There's definitely worse things we could have rolled. Speaking of rolling, let's get this wrap rolled up. And let's get our toothpicks in here to hold it together. And let's get a cut. Take a look at that cross section here. Not bad. A little drippy. Yeah, very drippy. All right. Well, let's give this wrap a taste here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty much a gyro with some extras. All the veggies work well. The sauce is pretty good. I do miss the coolness of the tzatziki in a typical gyro. That yogurt paired with the spices is just a match made in heaven. It's hard to compete. Right. But overall, this is a pretty good Less wrap. Three. Another week of Roll for Sandwich comes to a close with a high note Thanks, here with a 9.2. I hope you all enjoy your weekend. I'll see you again on Monday. See you again on Monday. <gasps> did, oh, did, there might be one more. There might be more. Right, my guys, over twelve months. Appreciate sure it. One more. No, that's not one. There's one last one. Yes. All right, this is the last one, chat. Last one. Let's make it good. Down and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. First up, roll for bread. Two Italian. It's actually been a while since I've gotten a bread that happens to be frozen. Luckily. I actually kind of like Italian bread. I think it's actually pretty good, but it depends on which one you get. Like different breads Toasting's are very, just a very, very, very different. And roll for main. Two, salami. I always seem to get things in groups. Friday Night's Live had salami on it as well, and that's the last sandwich I made before this one. Next up, Salami's roll for good. cheese. One, cream cheese. I'm using this whipped cream cheese because it's easier to spread on the bread without totally destroying it. I like cream cheese quite a bit, but it's one of the saltier options on this list, as was salami for the main list, which means this might be kind of intense overall. 2d12 roughage, here we go. Three red onion and 12 roll twice. All right, two more d12. Three red onion again and seven carrot. All right, so we roll red onion twice, so that means extra. I'm out of fresh red onion, so extra pickled red onions is what we're going with. And for the carrot today, I decided to grate it and do something a little bit different. Lurking. Next up, wild magic. Four, pickled eggs. Before starting this series, I didn't really have any experience with pickled eggs. These ones in particular are very vinegar forward, and I like vinegar, but we've already got extra pickled onions on here, so I'm uh -oh. a little bit worried it's gonna be too much. Uh-oh. All right, well, it's make or break time with the D20 sauce roll. One. Ketchup. Well, it is Monday after all. It's been a while <laughs> since we've hit on ketchup. So it was bound to happen again sometime. <laughs> let's get our toothpicks in here. And let's get it cut. I'm on fire! 
figure about my prime subholo. Let's take a look at that cross section. Goody. Well, here we go. My hopes are not super high, especially with the addition oh, of no! ketchup. Let's look at the this thing, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not great. Nope, not great at all. I was right on it being overboard on the vinegar. And were it just the carrot on its own adding a little bit of sweetness, that might be good, but the grated Thank carrot you. plus the super sweet ketchup, just, uh, it doesn't help. Not a great start to the week. I'm gonna have to go with a 4.2 on this one. The cream cheese helped a little bit, but not enough to bring it up any further than that. Thanks but what can you do? You can't win them all. I hope you all have a better alarm. Monday than me, and I'll see you tomorrow for episode 50. Oh, man, dude. Oh, man.